going guys? Kyle with Dirt Bike Channel here and you were watching me enjoy a little time here on the uh, 2016 KTM 350 XCF up here in the mountains on a little ATV trail and I've only got a I've only got a couple of hours on this bike on this frame you know we did the uh, did the review on the 250 XCF and liked it so much that thought I need to do the 16 the 2016 350 XCF so because it felt so light and flickable that 250 it was really really fun so I wanted to get this yeah just kind of compare the two directly because um, I mean that, that 250 was so good but there was a couple of situations every once in a while where you're like huh maybe I could could have used a teeny bit more power so I was wondering if the this little this 350 would kind of split that difference and I need to ride them back to back I Sam is actually taking care of the 250 and uh, so I don't have it right now so I need to be, I need to ride them back to back and just see if that 250 really does feel a lot lighter like in my head it seems like it seems like it feels more like nibble I don't know yeah very loose trail I haven't been on this trail for a year but it's a fun one whoa skying off that I'm sure I'm sure you can't tell that there's any air happening here at all these we're actually getting some pretty good air I mean not for a motocross track but for just a, an ATV trail that I've been testing 
in the 450s I've been riding, this 350 just kind of, for me, seems to strike the perfect four-stroke chord. You know, that obviously is coming from a two-stroke partial man, but there's plenty of power here. As long as you keep your speed up, you know, that's kind of the thing for me is the two-stroke will let me make more mistakes, I feel like, on a, on a trail track like this. I know that's, you guys think that's weird because they would say, well, four-stroke will make you, he'd make you, let you make more mistakes. Well, a 450 might make you, let you make more mistakes as far as on the gearing hitting the right gear or the wrong gear the 450 will just jot it out through any gear but but then it kind of hides you um, whereas the two stroke doesn't ever feel like it's riding me but I can gut it out kind of any gear this one won't gut it out quite as easily but it's but you just kind of roll on the throttle and it keeps making more torque it's, it's like it starts to create that black hole back there as you open that throttle body more and more and next thing you know even though you were in third gear when you should be in second gear it sort of uh, climbs out of it and it's pretty dang satisfying like that one Whoa. Got a little squirrely back there in the back end. Um, but yeah, back there I was in third gear around one of those corners when I probably should have been in second. And it had enough torque and gusto to get me out of it where I would have been probably clutching it on a 250 four stroke. Although, 250 four stroke might beat it through the corners. But these things are good. You know, for one reason or another, people have kind of disparaged on these WP forks. This is a 2016 model, and it's that WP4 CS fork. And I've had it on what? Uh, three different bikes now. And, <laughs> yeah, I love it. That front end comes up. Anyway, I've had the, the 4CS, there was fourth gear for you coming up the hill. I've had the 4CS on three different bikes, and honestly, I've really, really liked it. I had one of them revalved by a company, uh, and I, I can't say that it was any better. I mean, it was 11 or 12 or $1,300 more expensive now. But it wasn't really any better. But then again, I didn't. Well, I didn't have any problems with it. See, I clutched it there, almost lost the rear end because I feathered the clutch a little bit and dumped it, and then my rear end just lit up, and that thing almost went on, out from under me. Lost traction, but yeah, I like the I like the sinking 4CS little creek crossing here see there was a there was a rock in there that I didn't I kind of hit oblong and a lot of guys would say oh it deflects off that it just it kind of deflected just a little bit but not enough to give me any problems and I you know just came through it so I mean no complaints for me on the old Today's rider spotlight is Chris Bauer. You see him right here in the red hat. He rides in California with his riding buddies, shown in this picture. And uh, they tear up the trails all over the place in California. He's got this KDX 200, and he is loving that little two-stroke and uh, riding it every Sunday. Thanks for sending it in, Chris.